hey everybody thanks for coming back on so I wanted to just do a quick walkthrough of my planner setup that I have going on right now I am in the B6 size this is the Chic Sparrow Mockingbird leather and blue jay and I love it I had one in the week size and now that I've moved up to the B6 I just had to get another one as you see I already have some scratches I am not not gentle with my planners. They just get thrown in my bag. So yeah. Um, aside from that cover, I also have my Jellio Apunto, which I love, but with spring summer, I wanted to get a new cover. Here we are. I actually just ordered another one. I have the box sitting here. I need to do an unboxing. It's been sitting here for a week. Anywho, besides the point. So walk through. This is the Deluxe. In the front pockets, I just keep some stamps and doctor business cards for doctor's offices that I need to follow up with. There, in the back, I don't keep anything. On the pen loop, just clipped, clipped to it. I'm currently using the Dr. Grips. Um, I usually go between this and a Coletto or a Unijet Stream Multi. Those are my pens of choice, so love those. I like because they're thick and it just really suits my hand. My hands cramp. I tend to like squish. Anywho, this um, zipper card holdery insert is from Kelly Reekman on Etsy. I love it. I mainly, I don't really keep anything anywhere. I mainly use it for the pockets and the Julio. I don't need anything like this because it has so many pockets, but in this cover I do. Right now I just have my Hobonichi stencils, some, oh, was it Lily Designs? I think, Dear Lily Designs on from Etsy. And then this I just use as another straight edge um, Starbucks card. It had the hummingbird on it and I just had to pick that one up this this week actually. It was the fifth anniversary of my mom's passing and she always fed the hummingbird so I just felt like that was a really fitting one to keep in there right now. Um, aside from this insert, my horizontal B6 Weekly Franklin Planner this is a paper penguins insert. It's just the grid, Toma River paper, and this is my journal. So, private, won't be flipping through that, but that's what that is here in the back. This, I keep strung through the cover. I took the, the book out and I have it strung through. Hard to see. And I actually also cut some little slits in the PVC cover on the top and the bottom just because as you can tell it sits edge to edge if not actually just a tiny bit over the edge of the cover when when I keep it in this but I do prefer to keep it in this just for a little bit of extra protection um, and it doesn't bother me it did at first that it kind of hung just a little bit but it doesn't it doesn't bother me anymore or one order another one, right? All right, so that's what I have here. Here, this is just my budget for the month. This, it's not covering anything. This is just to, in case I need to write some quick notes or something. And I like this little quote, what is coming is better than what has passed. I have a lot of positivity things in here that I want to, to save. Um, picture of me and my husband. Glued, glued, oh, yeah, it's pretty pretty much glued. Yeah, I have one of those like adhesive runner things. That's how I have, have this stuck down, is just my yearly, monthly budgets. I do use the Wine app. I actually just started using the Wine app app again, but I still like having this in here just because it's really good to see quick like if my husband's like hey how much did we pay in the month of or something like that when did we cancel I can just flip to this real quick and see what date it was paid and how much was paid so I like that 
And then I've got my Oli clip. Then I printed off these, um, well, I mean, I really don't, I'm using them kind of like for a quick reference index of what was going on in the month. But I got these off the Hobonichi website. It's from their freebies, freebie printables. And then the stickers up top are from, also a freebie, I believe, from Planner Kate on Etsy. And then I am just, like I said, using these for keeping track of some different things that happen throughout the month that I might want to quick reference. And I just have those again tape runner stuck down to the pages that have writing that I don't understand so I don't I don't read Japanese so therefore stuck down works great then in my monthly um, since April is kind of a tough month for me I did de decorate it up more than I normally do um, stickers and you'll actually see that in the weekly spread as well I have a bunch of stickers I went through and I wanted to make each week a happy week to look at. So lots of stickers. Um, the gray, I do a little bit of color coding. The gray, I do blackout weeks. Those are weeks that I'm not allowed to request off any from work. And then green, those are holiday weeks. The stickers, pretty much all of them come from Planner Kate. I think these are the, oh, Create 365 Happy Planner, maybe? And then this one, I'm not really sure of. That was a kit that I had from a really long time ago. And then my weekly. I think I was going to show y'all May, too. One May. I mean, it has a little bit of decorating, but not as much. Um, the 365 one. I think the 365 one. My son's graduating, well, his two-year degree, and he's about to transfer to another university, so that's pretty cool. And then this is not normally here. I have that kind of covering something up. That is more private, so that's that. And then my weekly, this is pretty much what my weekly spread looks like. I've tried a couple different things. I've tried right, drawing the lines for the three boxes and doing appointments, day specific, and then a journal. I've tried a line down the middle and doing appointments and day specific and then journal on the other side. I just, I try different things, but I really love this view. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Um, next week I was thinking of doing something similar with the appointments, the day specific, and then notes and symbols. I was going to try like this little key to say like how my day was going and if there's a note in my journal pages or if I actually journaled on my journal pages. Um, we're trying to like really hit our budget pretty hard and stick with it. So I wanted to do some meal planning here for dinners, breakfast and lunch. We pretty much keep the same things, but dinners I wanted to plan out. And then here's what a blank week looks like. Just, you know, pretty similar to the Hobonichi Weeks, except it has a little bit more structure on the right-hand side with your to-dos. And I love that the tracker is already there and I don't have to draw, draw it out. So that's pretty nice. And then in the way back, you have your tracker pages. I don't utilize these really well. I find that I do better on the weekly trackers than I do the monthly trackers. But they're here and then in the back back pages, there's like 10, 15 note pages and I pretty much just use those for, I have like a bought and sold list, items to save money for, a book list, things I'd like to try. But here's what just a blank page looks like. And like I said, there's like oh, 10, 15 of these pages in the back. But that is pretty much it. I keep it really simple. Um, I guess one thing I didn't show was I do have the Hobonichi Weeks memo book in case I just wanna like 
quick jot something down or like tear out a sheet to give to somebody. I just keep a blank notebook back here so that I have extra note pages that I don't really care about. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And then, like I said, I had just ordered some new stuff, which will be for another video. But I hope y'all enjoyed my real quick flip through and I will see y'all next time. Bye.